All right, this video tutorial is going to cover hooking up a precision soil sensor receiver in conjunction with a rain sensor receiver. Uh, at this point, you should already be familiar with the basic wiring for the precision soil sensor receiver covered in the receiver installation video tutorial. But just a quick recap, the receiver has a total of five wires coming from it. Two red wires with no polarity uh, that hook up to the irrigation controller's 24 volt terminal to get its power. And then a white and brown wire um, for plugging into a normally closed sensor port and you would use the yellow wire in place of the brown wire if you happen to know you have a uh, normally open sensor port. So I've got a Irritrol rain sensor receiver here as well that we'll be using in this demonstration today and uh, the concept is uh, we'll be hooking these up in series meaning uh, we'll wire one of these two wires into the controller and then wire one of these two wires into the controller as well and hook the remaining two wires together. And I'll show you <laughs> in, a, in a visual demonstration in just a second of what that would look like. First things first, we're going to want to make sure we have um, the controller shut down before we start any of the installation. And before we actually hook up any of the sensor wires, you're going to want to make sure you have um, both of the, the red wires coming from the rain sensor receiver as well as the precision soil sensor receiver hooked up to the 24 volt terminal. So you can see here in the interest of time I've already got it set up for us. Um, this is one red wire coming from the rain sensor receiver and another uh, red wire coming from the precision soil sensor receiver both hooked into this terminal here and then the remaining red wire from the rain sensor and the remaining red wire from the precision soil sensor hooked up into this other 24 volt terminal over here. So now that we've got the red wires hooked up, the next step is going to be to remove the jumper from the sensor terminal on the controller. Just like that, it falls right out. And now what we're gonna do is take one of the sensor wires from the rain sensor and one of the sensor wires from the precision soil sensor, just one from each, doesn't matter which one, we could use the brown or white. The important thing is we're only using one from each and hook one into one of the screw terminals. So right now I've got the white wire coming from the rain sensor. And then next I'm gonna go ahead and take the brown wire coming from the precision soil sensor and hook that up into the other screw terminal. Just like that. Then for the last step, I'm going to take the remaining brown wire from the rain sensor and the remaining white wire I have from the precision soil sensor and wire those two together using a wire nut to complete the circuit. Just like that.